Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. I'm Jay and today we're going to take a look at uh, how to use a rotary encoder with a digital potentiometer. Now right here is a little digital potentiometer. I am using a X9C103. These are very common. There's some other similar ones, um, X9C102, 104s. There's a few different ones in that particular family. Um, you look in the description below, you'll find a link to the this project's web page, and I'll have um, a link to the data sheet on it on there if you would like to check that out. But a digital potentiometer, um, <coughs> right here I've got a regular potentiometer. When you turn it, you have a wiper in there that moves and you can change resistance, basically. In the digital potentiometer here, the one I'm using has, whoops, Oh, I must have knocked the wire and reset it. Um, but the digital um, potentiometer, it has 100 points of resistance in this particular one. Other models may be different. So basically, it just means there are 100 little teeny tiny resistors in there. And you trigger it, go either up or down, and you go steps to, it, to those resistance values. Real easy to use. Um, mainly, a lot, most of the applications are easy to use it with like a microcontroller or something. But there are situations where maybe you'd like to control it with a rotary encoder. Or perhaps it could be also controlled remotely because you had it hooked to something like an Arduino to control the volume on something. And you'd also like to be able to just come up and manually adjust it as well. But what I have set up here today is just using a rotary encoder to control it. And instead of having a speaker set up, most likely the biggest use for these is for audio. But I have a resistor, or excuse me, I have a little LED set up here to demonstrate it. So I'll go ahead and turn it back up. You know what, when I touched it there, I think I glitched it out. I should be careful with that static electricity, especially being on the rug here. Whoops. There we go. I turn it that way, it gets brighter. That's its full brightness. I turn it the other way, and it gets dimmer. Now, as you can see, we have more on the board than just the rotary encoder and the digital potentiometer. If you're using this with an Arduino, you could debunk stuff in the software. Well, we don't have any software. So what we're doing is we're debouncing this rotary encoder by using these capacitors here. So let's go over to um, the schematic for this, and I'll show you how this is put together. All right, I've got the schematic brought up here. Um, so what we've got here, our two main components, is the digital potentiometer right here, the X9C103 or similar. And uh, then we have our rotary encoder. Now I'm using one of those rotary encoders that you can get that are on the board. Um, some people like them, some people don't. Um, depending what I am building. Um, sometimes I use those, other times I, I just get the, the basic encoder and uh, hook everything up myself. But um, most likely you're going to have one of these laying around of one type or the other. But um, in the schematic here I have it set up to show you with uh, the pinout on that those breakout boards because it's a little confusing. Um, the two pins that we're using is the CLK and the DT. I have no idea why <laughs> they're labeled that particular way, but those are the ones that we're using to control the, the up and down of the digital potentiometer. So we just have on each one, we have a, a, around 120 ohm resistor. Um, it's just what I had on hand and I've got lots of. So anything in that ballpark will work. And then also I have two little tiny ceramic capacitors. Um, once again, I had some 40s, um, anything in that ballpark, um, 40, 50, 60, probably still work, 30 work. Just the closer you can stay, the better you'll be. Um, 
But uh, yeah, don't worry if it's not 100% identical. It should still work. So, <clears throat> next we have here, um, here's our LED over here. And I wanna bring this up. Um, if you're not using the LED, I mean, if you're when you put this together the first time you try it, that's a great way to do it, test it out, play with it. If you're not using the LED, don't have this resistor. You don't need it. This is just a current limiting resistor. Um, I just put it on the, on the voltage input. You could also have had it over here um, between the potentiometer and the LED. It would have worked as well. I just, that's how I chose to set it up. Everything is powered on 5 volts. Um, don't exceed 5 volts. It will ruin this. And um, let's see here. Only other thing, oh yeah, this pin here that's not being used in a rotary encoder, that's the switch pin. If you push it in, it has a built-in switch on it. So we're not using that, but it is available for use if need be. With that, I'll say uh, have a great day. And remember, have fun building.